So um, I'd like to um, call the meeting to order at 3.02 p.m. Um, and <clears throat> um, I'd like to announce that the meeting is being recorded by the recording clerk. You are recording this? I wasn't. But Do I you can. want to? What? Well, I'll say it's being recorded by the recording clerk for record keeping um, and by Selectman Gant. Um, is there anyone else present who wishes to record the meeting? Hearing none, thank you. Attendance sheet. So I think you're the only one who's I signed. I did sign in. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We know who you are. Um, thank you, and again, no one else has shown up. Um, so we have a few things um, today. The main business pieces are um, a website update, uh, front page design, and um, basic uh, content organization, information technology security, and goals and objectives. So. Um, with that said, I'd like to start with the website front page design, and so you want to hand it to? Well, I think Robin, if you go to the lead on this, I mean, I'm happy to bring you up to date uh, what we've been doing. But. Well, Sue's been our point person on this, and we met with Mark uh, several weeks ago, and uh, have gone over this with him, mm -hmm. and he liked what we were doing, which is sort of narrowing down all the options up there so people didn't have to think too much. And so this is, and then we met subsequent to that and cleaned it up a little bit more. And so what um, Sue has passed around to you is our proposed uh, front page. And then, do we have a draft second page? Yeah. No, this is what it used to be. This is what it is now, just if you wanted to see um, but um, we want to really focus on people being able to go to what they they needed. Um, so some what this one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, could you in a sense point out the, the differences between what, what changed? In other words, maybe it should be obvious, but in summary, the picture got smaller. Okay. Do you want me to go over that? Yeah. Okay. So the, the so on the top so the top row we'll go from top to bottom on the top left. We, um, we got rid of the how do I and put it over to the far right where you see where do I go for. And then moving down on the left, we changed that white spot and we, well, I guess more, we got rid of the maroon buttons on either right and left side, made the picture smaller, um, and that leaving more space on the left hand side to put uh, services as a area of looking for documents and documents for looking for items or whatever. And on the right hand side what that did was leave us more room for news items that you can go down and put a lot more on there. Um, and also we changed the calendar. There's four spots and it was very confusing when people would say is it a senior, is it a public hall, is it, is it an event? So we're combining all three of those together to be under a tab called events and then meetings. So you, as you see on your markup, it's only going to be meetings and events. And under events, it will show where that event is, um, opposed to now trying to figure out, um, is it a senior event, is it a public hall event, is, is it a whatever, we figured that was easier. In addition, we, um, to removing the maroon buttons, and they are situated in other places, as you will see uh, under services or documents on the left-hand side. We've included um, a flag status on, on the left, and on the right, it's um, to sign up for the emergency notifications, which is which is all there. It's just reconfigured and less busier. The other thing is, is that if there is an emergency that is occurring in the town, such as the cooling stations that came up automatically very quickly, um, there will be underneath the sign up for 911 that it will appear right there that there is a uh, an emergency alert. Emergency yeah. alert. Right. Will there be any kind of a flash to it or anything to draw an eye directly to it if it is an emergency? We can ask if they can do a flash. I am not sure if they can do a flash, but it will definitely come up as a, a big box with emergency notification and the language similar to what Ipswich has that Robin had pointed yeah. out to us. I just so. think because it'll be temporary. Yeah. Um, I think it's worth doing that. And for instance, if we have an EEE or yeah, we're we're notices, things like that, 
when a status change is bang, it goes we, there. We don't have a banner capability up here, is that it? We do. No, no we do no. not. That is that is static forever. Okay. Yeah. So what we tried to do with services is there were so many buttons there and so many options. Or there are so many things there. What we wanted to do was say, what do people want? They want services or they want documents mostly. And do we know that from some statistics stuff like urchin or something like that that we've looked at? No, we, 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 we do know, I think, through practice what people look at. Anecdotally. A sense, a sense of it. There would yeah. be not a particular. Like paying bills or our donations. So we put pay a bill and donate at the top. Uh, Sue has informed us that we get a lot, a lot, a lot of questions about trash in the recycling. Yes, that. So that's right up near the top. That's good. I don't need any statistics on that one. <laughs> <Right>. Yeah. <laughs> Hours of operation. I think people yeah, that's always. Good. Um, watch cable video on demand. See, that was put around here somewhere. It's it's here. Talks with cable and it's talks with YouTube, which was really confusing for somebody to know and. I would like to say we just put action words here to say that there's an action that you're looking for. Yeah. I like uh, that. Website updates, you can enroll. Mm -hmm. um, I think we'd like to people to think about that as they're looking for these things. Employment opportunities, we're also going to post on our employment there. And volunteer opportunities. We decided to separate those two out. I have a question on this. I gather that if you click on the government tab, you go in deeper and see some of these yep. other things. I'm wondering if we could put one more um, in the blue bar at the top. On the left-hand side, add home, which will bring you to this page. It's the landing page that people get to when they get to the website. And wherever you are inside the website, you can click home and it comes right okay. to this. I think we can do that. So currently yeah. we have a little house in the yeah. upper right. So you Where have a little house. See that little house. Where is it? But, okay, it, it's, it's, it's right here. Where next. Oh, sorry. But perhaps yeah, we can. Right. It disappeared. It just no. got See that? It disappeared in this copy. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah I don't it's see it. It's here. Either. It's here. Sure. And see, that's, that's a standard icon that people are getting used oh, here, to. Dick, I, I printed home. out some more. This is no, the same. I, I, it always see, used this to is be there. Now I know it's there back. Okay. This is like the edge, and then the home is yeah. over here. Yeah. I mean, I, I think putting home there, would, if it's not a challenge, okay. would be yeah. a. I agree. Don't take the house away. Dick's right. I think people are getting used to that, but not everybody is. And the other thing is, when you click on one of those blue buttons at the top there, and you go someplace else, it's kind of nice, nice to know you can get back to where you okay. were. So the other thing we looked at are documents, because as you know, we get a lot of requests for information, and we're trying to get people to sort of search themselves. And so we have a documents uh, area where you can go to documents and reports that we're going to be putting those reports in. Now that needs to be organized a little bit, but I'm thinking like town reports, um, studies, you know, there are a lot of studies that are done. We need to start archiving those and making them easily accessible here. Uh, view property maps and GIS and public record requests so people can actually just click and ask for a record. Now when we go to um, public records requests, we're going to have a list of commonly uh, requested records. So they don't have to think about them, they can just see what's there. Click and it's there. Is that what this is? Um, no. 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 This is, this is under government. This okay. will take you right to commonly requested request, requests, uh, public record requests, commonly requested. And we're putting the public records law on that page too. Yes. So we'll list things that people commonly request and they can just go there. But they can also make a request for yes. something else. It may or may not exist, but they can make the official yes. request. Yes. Good. Um, but what we found was this was so cluttered. It looks good, but in practice it was kind of cluttered. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, kind of taking a page. Now let me just say, I went through this process in Ipswich and it took us months to launch it, months. And we had a group that met regularly about it. So remember, this is a process. I think, if I'm mistaken, tell me if I'm mistaken, but when you go to government, 
here, what you see is what we migrated over from the other website. Was that the case? It was essentially migrated from the other website. Okay, yeah. so it wasn't really a fresh start on, on that. And so you have to sort sort through everything here to find it. And you have to kind of know who's in charge and has phone numbers and what people really want to do is just click on departments. So this is what <coughs> we're looking at. This is the, the government page, which will uh, start at the top about Cops Field History, boards and committees. So, so, so help me, Robert. How do I get to it if I hit government over no, here on the blue bar? Is that what you're yes. telling me? Yes. yes? If this, I hit that, this then will come up. that will come up. That's right. the point. Okay. So, Okay. Like so this everything about it'll show like but, but, this. Right. So this is the uh, this is sort of an example of what it would look like after oh, you okay. hit um, government on the Ipswich page. It. You get a you get a Got dialogue it. that says like that. more simply in ours you have to go to land use and then find planning or know that planning's under land use. Yeah, that's part of it. You don't you don't want people to have to guess where things right. are. So this has it all just right in front of you. And then these will take you to the contacts and the pages as, we, as the town moves through this process. But we're going to have a Board of Selectmen's page. And on there, we're going to put your policies and regulations, uh, licenses and permits, and boards and committees that you appoint. And that's where board documents will reside. Um, that will also be linked to if they go on the home page to um, uh, meeting minutes and agenda, yeah. the agenda. So it, basically, it's a different link for people who are. I think that's so important. Different. You know, areas. so you can go in and back. You know, and that, it's a and common document that can be accessed right. by different means. That, that's, that's exactly so right. important. So important. Good. Um, uh, also, um, we've got a link here to town bylaws and zoning bylaws. Just so you know, uh, Beth is uh, assigned to her finishing up the codification process because, and to update that, um, I figured out where we are on it, and so we're going forward to finish it. But there'll be a link to the town bylaws. Right now, there is a link, but it's the bylaws aren't complete, and there's some errors in there. But, um, is that a large project, Robin, or is? It is. She's going to have to figure it out, but um, it just got dropped five years ago, and we're going to add some things into it. So, um, again, uh, you know, we have state and federal information and directions, maps, hours. I, I, it, it'll look pretty much like the Ipswich page, but but formulated around uh, around Topsfield. And you'll see in here we have human resources and employment. So we'll put our personnel policies. Um, I'm asking the board to look at a workplace violence policy. Um, what's the internet for? Internet policy. Is that the internet policy? Yes. I Use. Yes. Yeah. Uh, job descriptions, collective bargaining agreements, forms, new employee forms, and benefits. And this we've talked to the schools about because they'll be able to access these as well. Um, we're revising the policies and we want to make access, we want to use the employees to use this as well to get access to the forms they need. Um, make it a little bit more serviceable. So this is what we're proposing. And then we'll go on to you know the third and fourth layers in, but I think these are good starts just to get organized. Um, well, then right now these forms they can access them, print them out, and then fill them by hand. Um, that I know there's a forms component in laser fish down the road, so that they actually. I think that'll them. have to be looked at down the road. Yeah, we're, we're not going to fill them out online. So yeah, so we're, we're just a stage. This, this is going to be an ongoing process. Let's walk first. Yeah. yeah. But I think it's helpful just to kind of organize it in a way that people aren't overwhelmed and having to search too much to find what they're looking for. So we're just kind of letting you know what we're doing. That's great. Um, one question back to the main page. Um, town department hours of operations. 
Do we have different hours of operation by department, or yes. we do? Okay, so when you go in there, you can see when each department is as open. An, as an example, the building department is open from seven to one. Okay. Normal business hours for most offices in town hall are eight to four. The DPW may have different hours. They have seven to three. Yeah. So. so. Okay. And we'll have contacts there too for that. So. Um, Anyway, this this is where we are now, and we, you know, as I said, we met with uh, uh, Mark and went through it. Um, tried to remove any redundancies or anything. Tried to say, well, if you're just the average citizen looking yeah. for something, I like it. I also like the check current flag status. That That's really good. important to me. People love that. Yeah. yeah. Which one? Check current flag status. Oh. Yeah. You, why is it half mast or not? You just click on it and it takes you to the state a site and it tells you what uh, whether the flag is full or half staff and why it's half staff. So for instance, when um, the week Mark passed away, the flags outside were at half mast. And I was surprised because the one on town hall wasn't and I hadn't heard anything about anybody asking for that. And then, thanks, Robin, we went on, we looked at the Ipswich site, I think it was, or you went to the, the West, long story short, it said the governor had ordered in um, respect for the victims of the mass shootings. But the that's what people see. love this. Uh, and people that have flags, they want to know what they're about to it's kind of nice. It, it is. is. It's really great. nice and clean. I like what you guys did. Thank you, Liz. That looks... Thank you. Yeah, really agree. easy to navigate. These so, guys are uh, just, uh, just for a main point of view, uh, it, it's government that gets us to this page. Right. So in concept, government is this. Can we come up with a different name for what uh, this column is? In other words, the, the uh, column is the same as the key. Just think about it. You don't so, have to do anything so, now. So uh, the government that I put... I just did this. We haven't really reviewed it as yeah. far as the just to make this purified. This is not purified yet. Gotcha. Okay, the concept. <laughs> this is concept. the concept, right? right. right. We talked about, about yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. We're trying to we talk about everything emergencies. about government here. Yeah, good. Here. One thing I think. I'm sorry, Kate. Go ahead. We talked about emergencies and trying to put something in you know, its place. Can we override the pictures to put in an emergency? No. Tornado so, coming. So what we could do, um, I have the ability to change the pictures. So if, if maybe if we did something and I took a screenshot of it and uploaded it as a photo, perhaps we could do, do something like that. If we had something from... So but that's why I think the flashing, if it's really right. critical... That's why we've left... I think would call as much attention... We've got um, pretty good... Like space down here, and this is where it will show up. Yeah. Um, and but importantly today, it's where it shows up on the mobile phone. And the, is, the picture is on the mobile phone, right? No idea. It's a good question how it will look on the mobile phone. Because but the important thing is going to be that people enroll right. to get these. You can enroll and get them by text. No, I'm, I'm wrong. That picture does not appear. You Maybe can, it does. It, Oh, that is the that yes, is the picture. That is, that is, that and is that the person that show. is the place. Ideally, maybe we can't do it, I but ideally, that. that's the place because if somebody has an emergency, they're trying to figure out. They go to their laptop, whatever. But ninety percent of them are going to go to this instead of the laptop. Well, I also and if think that picture kind of gives them a, a grab, it would be good. I think we have we have to encourage people to sign up because if there is an emergency. Mm -hmm. If you're signed up for it, then you can get it by text, by email, or by phone. With a lot more information than just whatever yes. is static right there at the moment, because there could be updates on a rolling I basis. Mean, th if you want to be current. This, this, this takes a bigger effort um, because you're signed up for landlines, but if you're like me and you don't have a landline, you don't get the calls. So what? what what have the signed up for landlines? 
you, you, everybody should go in and sign up for a 911 emergency communications. Because if you do, you'll get the notices. Can you sign up with your mobile on that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, part of it is training people that if you go to the website, it, you can get it here. But honestly, for true emergencies, like here we can put, um, uh, and I rely, actually, let me be frank, I rely on the police and the uh, uh, fire to put the notifications out to the rec, which co will come to us. But if you want to receive emergency notifications mm -hmm. then, then from the rec, then you need to sign up through here. Do we so, know what kind of participation we have in the town? Um, gee, I don't know. What kind of sign up? I, it's really, we should do a big information. When we do this, we can make a point of it. And so on. it's technically a reverse 911, but I don't think reverse 911 is something people will understand. No, no. But, but anything that we post places. here or anything that comes out from the wreck, mm -hmm. you'll get the notifications here. Yep. So I think it's really incumbent on us. And maybe that's an announcement you can make at a meeting to say, as we go into the hurricane season yeah. and the winter season, we're encouraging everybody to please sign up on the website for no emergency notifications. Probably do an article too. I, I, I think we need to. Do I don't some know how many people come to our website for to in see the that. first place. What, and whether you go to the website or not, with the idea of having this ability to get messages. So. There was a lot of talk about this some years ago. We, we need to know, we need to be convinced that the RECC really has this and really wants to do this and that it's robust enough to handle the kinds of things that we want before we dive into something and then people start asking questions and we don't have answers. Uh, let, let me just give you one of the, a, just an example of the sort of thing we'd like to understand and how we might try to lay it out. If we should have the ability to geographically send the message out, such as there is a water emergency, yes. water emergency, you've got to boil water. Well, there's no point in sending that water emergency to boil water to the people who have wells, because they may have the worst problem or a less problem, but it's not, it's, it's not the boil water that's coming out of the water department plant. Um, so that's like a, a layer that they want to have at the RECC that we can work with very quickly, or <coughs> that you can do it either by section or by streets or something like yeah. that, when there's flooding, etc. This is one of the most important things that we can and should be doing. I'm delighted that we're talking about it, but when we do it, I think it needs to be done very carefully and right so that we don't teach somebody something and six months later reteach them something different and teach them something different. I think Let's I figure suggest, out how it works. This is important enough. I, this to me speaks more to the functionality than the layout, which yeah, is the, the conversation the today. Right. Um, but I think that it does deserve a little bit of looking into what would be the best way to do that. So, right. What's that? Um, just the functionality for things like emergency notification. Rather than take our time in this meeting, trying to solve that problem, okay. to just ask that you sort of think about it. Maybe other towns you could um, look at and see how they do it. But given the fact we have the rec, it's a slightly different situation. We do want to be sure it's clear. But I prefer so I, to I, not I focus do, on that. This I do meeting. get the RECC weather alerts. Why am I getting the RECC weather alerts? Because I signed up? I've mm -hmm. signed up from time to time. OK, so I am signed up for this. OK. so. Is there any um, thing that you've heard, much. Dick, that makes you think that they wouldn't be able to handle if everyone in town signed up for the alerts? Well, to handle the way we, the way we would want to use it is a question. I don't know how robust what they have is and how robust they're willing to work with us on it. You mean to segment the population so that not everybody is getting the message? Yes, yeah, so or to be able to, yeah. You know, and to I be able to tell people about what roads are closed in, in reasonable ways, there's a lot of kind of elements of communication. You, you, you should have, we should have the police and fire chief in because they're meeting with Yeah, the and, and as John said, this is not the time to do it. Yeah. Uh, but I can tell you, if I'm on the RCC and I'm getting what everybody else gets, 
uh, it's good, but it's, it, all I get is when this window of weather advisories, and when you start getting those things, you, you get a whole bunch of them, yeah. and you start ignoring them that's because the they cover uh, the entire east coast of Massachusetts a, or whatever. I think that's a good question. It, it, it's, it's all good, but it, it's, yeah. it's, 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 this yeah. is an area separate from the website that okay. work that it, okay. Yeah. How yeah, hardwired is this once we quote, do what we're doing? This is a, a big deal though. We've got a hardwire to something. But are each of these names hardwired? No. This is yes. a slot that's hardwired. It is uh, a platform that is built by Civic Plus, and for front page changes, they do them. So they're hardwired to the to the extent that they're not fluid, but if we wanted to change something, if it wasn't working, we would go to Civic Plus and have them change Hardwired, we go to them, is a way. That, yes. That's one thought. Some hardwiring is harder to do than others. Moving the columns around and et cetera, et cetera, is harder to do than I suspect it is for them to change the, the spelling of a word in one of these things. OK, yes. good. But we still go to them. But for that, they said, oh, Tomorrow it will be done. And the other one, you say, well, you know, you really have to figure out. Then, okay. Yeah, they've been they've been great. Good. And then anything Good. else behind the front page, we can update yes. ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. So this would this is our this is our first step, and then this is our second, and then we'll continue building on it. Can I? Can you don't mind if I clarify work. just one quick thing um, for developing this page? That is Civic Plus as well, okay. because they're going to be. Developing the, the links and making sure the making sure the links all work and everything. Right. Yes. Um, I just want to say I I think this represents a substantial improvement. We'll obviously be kind of taking a look and so on. I really like the sort of services, documents, news, and a feature that I like, which I think is great, rather than crowding everything in. I love the view all. So if you don't see it, it was two weeks yeah. ago. We've had a busy week. You can go see whatever's yeah. there. At some point, old old stuff is going to have to come off. It does. I, I mean, I monitor the news constantly, so that it's not stale. But um, it, I think that's in, I think that's that's important. And I appreciate the fact that it allows you to put things in top order where people will see them. Um, something might happen, and trash stickers at Gills Groceries might fall off the list, and triple E status goes. Yep, we place. can we can um, we can you prioritize can items. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good. Yeah, okay. So even though. Um, Civic Plus does the front page. You have control over the specific news items. That's just a list. Yeah, I got yeah. you. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Good. So we'll just um, keep on keeping on and give you periodic updates. So yeah. you're going into each of these sections of the website to do similar changes, evaluate it, make. Yeah, but we're starting with government because yeah. that seemed to be the most um, okay. relevant. But yes, if. Um, you know, if we update the schools, we'll work with them on that. But really, what I felt was most compelling is the government part of it. Good. Um, thank you very much. Yes, yeah, so thank, thank you, you so very much. Good. Thank okay. you. Thank you. She's our and Robin, thank you for your guest. support. God, you guys have been working together. And, uh, That's great. Um, and three, you've been too. Yeah. Good. It's, it's we brought Beth into the process as well. Excellent. And I. I appreciate the fact, take a critical look at it, and I think you are suggesting some very worthwhile updates and improvements. So, um, that said, if there's nothing further, I'd like to move on to the IT security. And I just checked my list. I put in a note to Quantalytics just saying, do you have an update? And by the way, we want it broken down. So. It's as a la carte as you can make it right. in terms of assessment, changes they could do. Some cases they go in in the process of assessment, they could, with our permission in advance, of course, make a change and there's basically no additional cost, but they'll break all that out for us. Um, haven't heard it yet, so I will be giving Richard Avery another call um, on that. So I don't have anything further. Um, the only other thing I can say is, um, Rob, do you still have the link to that article that you got out of the New York Times? I just sent it on to you. I don't know if I catch it. Okay, I'll have to see if I can find it. I'd like to send that out to all of the selectmen um, because I think it was informative, short read, but yeah. um, basically talks about how things are getting worse by the day. 
um, so how much it's costing people and the cost and so on and so forth. I don't think any of us are um, heads in the sand about it. I think we know that security is an important thing. This puts a little bit of background behind it, and as we talk with other people, I found that it helps sort of to provide some illustration and so on. So, if you can't find it, let me know, and I'll get okay. to my files. So, um, just making a note to myself. Okay, good. So um, from there, we're on to item five, uh, FY 2020 goals and objectives. Um, the object today is to go through, see whether we can work on a draft list um, based upon a number of inputs. And I suspect there may be some additional ones while we're here. Um, just as sort of preliminary to this, um, First of all, I think the value of having town goals has been demonstrated to us. It provided a certain amount of focus this past year, which um, I think we and the town have benefited from. And it continues to um, enforce the, uh, not enforce is the word, um, continues to promote the idea that the selectmen are not just managers, but we are in fact leaders, and as such, have an obligation to not only listen to our constituents, but to take good ideas from all sources and uh, seek to uh, implement those that are deemed worthwhile. So that's what these town goals are. Um, I'd also just make the point that um, their town goals, the town administrator and individuals, select people, and other pe folks like you, Donna, and others will have responsibilities within these that will affect um, one's own goal list, if you will. But they are specifically goals for the benefit of the town, and um, rather than specific individuals. Um, so that's the editorial preamble. Um, what we have are three documents available to us. One is a collection. Um, Debbie assembled this, did she? Yes. Or did you? She did. She did. So this one here, labeled Town Goals and Objectives for 2020, lists 12 um, potential goals and five other areas that we pay attention to, um, but don't necessarily have specific goals connected with them. Um, so, so Debbie kind of drew these from different sources, including last year's goals, uh, Robin, your suggestions of goals. Is that what happened? Debbie did that? Did you not have a meeting that you talked a little bit about? We talked a little bit about it. We have talked some on goals. I think she yeah. may have. I think she made it from that and other inputs that have come from okay. different years. Yeah. This, is, this is not a shopping list we can or necessarily should buy everything on, but it is designed to be between these documents inclusive of all the written information we've received so far. Dick, you may have some other things that um, have received from you. This second one here, Lynn, you put together? Yes, the, those were the notes. Can you, can you oh, give sorry. a summary on, this is the one that starts at the top, it says Tier 1 Current Activities, labeled June 8, July 18th, uh, 2019. Yeah, that was a uh, discussion with Mark, myself, and Kelly, um, trying to prioritize for the purposes of turning things over to Robin, mm -hmm. where she should be focusing first, second, and third. Okay. So that may... Right. Yeah. yeah. So that, that may have some, uh, um, some relevance there. Um, I had put together a list of suggestions. Um, I somehow thought that everyone had been encouraged to send something in. My may be the only one, but um, these are probably not a surprise to me. There are just a couple of differences to or other ideas that I have on this, but otherwise they're largely the same. What I would like to do is see whether using this whiteboard here as kind of a central focal point, if we can identify basically those that we're kind of think we're all in agreement on without any questioning. We're going to make our list, maybe triage it into um, two or three levels of priority. We will talk about this in open meeting on Monday. We will not vote on it until Boyd is with us. 
and we will vote on it when we are in the public session that's being broadcast by Foxford Cable. So today is to see whether we can start to come to some sort of structure of what we would like to have on there. One of the things that typically happens when we do these calls, I don't know the extent to which you may have done them in the past, and any of your other towns, we did it some time ago, I remember using the library, and I really do some brainstorming. You allow some crazy ideas to kind of fall out of a, a thought yep. that represents, oh, but that really fits this one. And so you get a bunch of ideas out there, and then you whittle away at them and throw away lots of them. But sometimes it just creates a, a new thought or brings out a, an idea of something that needs to be done. It lends itself to a real free form. Um, I can remember various times up to uh, some MMA types of sessions, um, and it would come up from time to time. But uh, I, I can see that we're not so much into it now, but I think it was Steve Fellaini suggested even that uh, sometimes you go away someplace to just uh, really kind of brainstorm and get something. things going I and think, whatever else. I think I, in some cases you, you're right yeah. that you would do that if you want sort of broader goals. I look at this as sort of a work plan okay. for the board. But you're, you know, there may be things you want to, if, if uh, for example, you say um, citizen engagement is a goal. Well, the, the town website might fit under that, or, but this I see as not necessarily goals, but a work plan. Oh, no, yes. From my point of view, yeah. I the, see the one that, like, that you okay, want to look at with here Kelly and, and uh, Mark. I, I agree with you. It is more of a work plan. But yeah, very they, valuable. Yeah, it, it had is. nothing to do with goals. It yeah. had to do pull together all the open issues and items. That's right. And yeah. focus on which ones we wanted Robin to focus on. Um, Why not? So that we're passing on the information. Yeah. But I do it, think we need to go through this because there are a lot of things that are imminent. <laughs> and I yeah. want us to be clear on that. So in the time I'm here, yeah. Yeah. we get through them and set the stage for your new town administrator. So, and that person can work with you in setting goals, say, for the budgets that are coming around. Because a lot of times goals require money. Yep. And so I guess part of what I want to do is, Dick, by all means, um, it is not to restrict ideas. If something comes up and so on, I think you should feel totally free to put it out there. My inclination is to take, and I can remember the guy who did this, but maybe to create two lists. One is urgent and the other is important to see if there's anything that we, at least, the three of us, four of us, agree belong on one or the other list for good reasons. And Boyd will get a chance to look at it and counter if he wishes, but um, I was thinking that might be a place to start because um, if there are things we're going to have to do or we lose opportunities of great significance, um, we wouldn't want to let that slip by. Does that make sense? But you can all, you can also back into what the goals are, which is if, if uh, citizen engagement or citizen awareness is a goal, we could say that you know working on the website is improving is a step towards that. Um, if uh, uh, developing, let me, just, let me just follow up on that. That's a good one, Robert. On the website, website was was a goal. It's not done yet. A lot of things have happened to it. My sense is that there's a certain point at which you take it off as a primary goal. A lot of things got in place. People got assigned. Ideas got established. You can keep it on a goal and keep it running, running, running. But that's stuff that's, okay, we're going to review right. what happened to it. But it's, It'll shift it, down it's here a, and over. It's an part of the operational exactly. item versus on exactly. a goal. It was a needed goal because we got complaints, there was a need to clean it up, whatever else, and they've done a great job of bringing it along, but I don't know that we want to, I'm just saying that as an example, I understand. Yeah, I'm not sure we want to put website back down as a goal. Maybe we do, but, but maybe not. I think it's maybe a good what you put on question. that is under important, ongoing updates to the website, for example. That's important, that we, we've, we've kind of put it up there and now we're moving into, uh, we're going to the next step, and to the next step, and to the next step, that, that, that effort has sort of been launched, and we have a good idea where we're going, and everybody understands those parts. Yeah. So um, 
it's probably, as you're right, more into the operational phase, but we don't <coughs> want to drop it. Oh, we're not going to drop it. Yeah, yeah the, that's a good distinction between the strategic and the operational. Right. Yes, we do want to keep your eye on the ball. You do want to get those updates, but it's not something we as a group would sit around discussing or work on. No, I think, I think to, what I hear is you've effectively said, go forth with it. And that's what we'll do. And it is so other way it will continue of, to be. Are you thinking of taking the items that are on one of these lists and putting them in one of the other categories? Is that, is that Well, some about? of them for sure. For instance, um, I'll give you one that I think is on the urgent, and I think that's the um, internet security. Um, okay. And it's not the biggest thing. One thing I put on the important would be uh, downtown revitalization, which will be an ongoing effort. It never looks the same year to year, which is good. We keep getting further and further along. But I think this list needs, whichever it ends up being, needs to tell the citizens where our attention collectively is going. Okay. Yeah, I, I like the strategic operational shift. Um, only because like when you look at the downtown revitalization, there's some very big strategic issues to discuss in how you move forward with that. That one is still on goal. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Oh, yes. That, yes. That one, because that one, there that are a lot is, of decisions at a very started, high level. But we have, we, we scratched the surface on that one. Which it's not, not, it's not this, the downtown revitalization is oh, definitely okay, okay. a goal. So whether urgent or important, I kind of see it as it, strategic. It's, it's one of the... It's not a website, as I suggested. It's not a website. It's not a website. This is a goal that continues. Yes. And it's still no question, very high level with a lot of... Impactful decisions to be made. And where we are with it. Right. right. And of course, something at that level would require more select and engagement in terms of policy and bringing community together. Because you have a lot of moving parts there. Yeah. So, if I could ask this before we finish this topic, sure, we can do this. Uh, I have a number of items that I'd like to just kind of read through, not spend any amount of time talking, enough to explain if somebody has a question about what do you mean by that, but just ideas, just to throw out some ideas. Do you want to get them up before, on the board? No, 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 no I, I, I don't want to stop the process, but I'm asking for enough time to, to, to take that five or ten minutes to go sure. through a list of some things that I have, just to, Sure. Let's put put somebody else's yeah. ideas of yeah. goals that they've been thinking yep. about. Absolutely, which That's I good. think is what you were describing for John, right? To, oh, to yeah. have the ideas and have them go out there yeah. and kind of debate them and then... No, I, I, I ended up <laughs> sending mine out. You had yours and I doubt to share. Let's put yours out here too, so yeah, yeah, sure. they're here. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So go. You're, you're on. Oh, oh, I don't want to take... A, Anybody, no, I think it's anyway, to stop what you were doing here. No, no, no. I, I, I think it's important that we get your ideas out because they may relate to other things, and I think it's important. Here's the way I title this. Goals FY 2020-discussion. Okay. I mean, I don't see them as, quote, goals. I see them as items that we may want to discuss or may want to bring up to the level of Does this involved. make sense to oh. email to someone here, print out a message, oh. copy? That would probably be helpful. I'd kind of like to have it as you have written it there directly. Okay. While I'm talking, or do you? No, no, no. Let's just yeah, I'll get a test. Take a minute yeah, now. I will. I will. Um, Is it expensive? We'll, we'll recess for two minutes. Ten items. To get a copy. Is that nice? Ten items. Ten items? Ten, ten sentences. So, a recess. Oh, it's that, it's that. It's good. Donna, if right. we in, you know that test, would you be able to sure. just get us some copies, yeah. and that way we can make notes around what you yeah, said to kind of... Do you remember that topic? Too much. That may talk about. How you do things when you want to do things. Okay. <laughs> so email uh, to Donna, sorry. attach. Yeah. Yeah. That's an attachment. I just think it's the thing too is by having a physical piece of paper. Frankly, it kind of puts it at the same level of kind of weight as this. I don't want to misinterpret and then be. Yeah. <laughs> OK, 
okay, even my eyes just went walking and my screen shrunk down to like a 0.7 font. That was very odd. Oh, these things are not too bad. I know. Maybe I'll go out and come back in. Did this gate? I'm going to see if I go back. No, you should have No, the whole thing. Oh my gosh. Okay. That must have hit something. Just get it out of there. Yeah. So you want to start talking about it anyway? Um, um, I'd like to wait until Donna's back here. Okay. And can take the notes. Do you want to continue on this list then? Uh, just any no, discussion? I want to Donna's here. No, it still came back up tiny. Uh, <laughs> there is a, a that happens on mine sometimes too, and it's a simple thing so, that doesn't happen often enough that I bother to remember. Yeah, it's interesting that you have to actually um, hold your first meeting before you can apply for 501 status. Isn't that interesting? Huh. Is this for what? Yeah. Creating a nonprofit, oh, a 501c3. Yeah, so you have to file your EIN and you have to um, do your articles of incorporation. You have to, of course, get your board members and elect your officers. Oh, yes. So and you have those you... to submit as the entry for. <laughs> Uh, but yes, so you have to have your meeting in order to elect your offices. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. I love this though because I can write notes. Yes, yes, yes. No, I appreciate this too. Yeah, I believe me, they're, 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 uh, they're, uh, I always thought that was a feature we were getting the board docs that we could write our notes on here. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 By, by the way, I have another uh, one that I yes. also sent to Donna just now, which were the things that I have as suggested goals. So this one is discussion. I mean, this right. is this is what I'm talking about, the brainstorming kinds of things. Yeah. All right. And only stop me if, if it's what I say is not clear. Improve, improve ways to communicate with residents concerning emergencies and events. Town meeting, trash schedule, storm damage, shelter in place, hurricane, whatever. Uh, not too different from the stuff that we were just somewhat talking about when we talked about the RECC, but getting that sort of thing moving. Update and improve the five-year financial forecast and long-term plan. The improve means, the improve is referring to the number of uh, parameters that we have in that plan. In other words, you can have a five-year plan that has three variables, or you can have a five-year plan that has 500 variables. Now, variables are a good start, but they're just the beginning. The improve is talking about refining some of it so we can do a better job of, of forecasting with, with more variables. Establish a strategy for integration of municipal data and applications to prove the effectiveness and efficiency of op an operation. We've talked about data a number of times uh, in the past. Uh, I don't think we have a problem yet. This, this is suggesting this getting together and figuring out where, where we want our data, what we want. Hire a town administrator, hire a police chief, Implement financial transparency, a financial transparency application. For example, uh, ClearGov, Munis, whatever, that is accessible via the town website. In other words, people can go in and find, quote, documents, <coughs> actually find, in this case, uh, literally data about uh, financial uh, status, so to speak. Seven, implement one Munis CCS, which is their uh, um, uh, uh, function 
uh, referred to as a customer self-serve uh, application. And they have three of them. One is for employee, another is for citizen, and the third one is for vendor. Address, and I think you had this in one of your plans too already, for example. Um, address Massachusetts law requiring municipalities to comply with OSHA regulations. Nine, complete the... Can, can you talk more about eight? Um, we say address Massachusetts law, what do you mean by that? So there's a new statute that says municipal government must uh, function under OSHA rules. Okay. OSHA is not in control as it is for because OSHA didn't control governments, but the state has said, you know, we should be taking care of our employees. So the legislators did a statute that said, your workers are under the rules of OSHA. Gotcha. In other words, if we're doing any construction, and you go out there and you see them, they better have a heart at the glass or turn them, all that sort of thing. And, uh, and so the state has a group that is looking at it, and we'll provide some guidance in that. But it, it's a yeah. whole, it's a safety thing. It's a whole safety kind of right. thing. Yeah. And we don't do it now? We may. But we have no focus on the ocean, nor have we, one of the things you can do is, I'm not suggesting how we do this, but one of the things that we could do is have the state come in and they will do a review of the town. Eh, maybe we don't want that. Maybe it's more important to have a review of the water department because they have the most industrial whatever. Or of... Uh, fire, what, uh, yeah. By the way, there's a big deal now going when they try to do this with fire, saying you know you're not allowed to go up a ladder without a. How do you do that when you're fighting a fire? So there's a, a bunch of questions that have come up about OSHA, but the, so, but the state is in there, uh, willing to help us first by doing a review, and they're not going to ding us or anything. And then, I don't know. I, I, I got the idea. Of MMA. Yeah. I got the idea. Auto magnitude. There's, there's something there, but it, it is. I didn't realize we had new regulations to comply with, but now I understand that right. makes sense. When but importantly, we're not under OSHA, though. Governments yeah. are still not under OSHA. So governments are not required to be under OSHA. Right. Okay. So this we is how to comply with the regulations. Um, there's a place called um, Department of Industrial Accidents that reviews the accidents. Um, if they happen. Mm -hmm. so, okay, so Dick, are you saying though that municipalities do not need to abide by the OSHA regulations? Two, two things. One is, if, you, if you're a business, uh, construction is the best one typically, but you're a manufacturer, whatever it may be, you are under OSHA. And you better know what those OSHA guidelines are, and you better make sure that your employees are functioning under OSHA. If they're riveting something, then there's some rules sure. about riveting over Whatever the case may be, you got to wear glasses. You got to do this. You do the sound, and whatever it is. You, you as an employer, are responsible for ensuring that all of your workers are functioning under OSHA. That has not been the case for the government employees. We didn't have that requirement. Like highway, and we still do not. The federal highway workers, snowplow operators, folks like that. I don't know all the details. Okay. If you if you are a contractor, you are. Okay. okay? But it's a little, in my mind, it's a little bit like the government when they originally did uh, Social Security. Everybody has to have Social Security except government. <laughs> you know, they, so but, but, but well, what's happened, what's happened what in the is. last year is that the state did a statute that said all of you that are municipal employees when you're working need to have the work under the same rules as OSHA. Okay, so now we are under those rules. Well, based on the state saying it, okay. if we don't do it, the feds are not fining us. I mean, the feds, when they come in on OSHA, yeah. on a so company, put them out invest, of business. Investigate how I think investigate is what we say. Um, okay, good. That's, okay. I understand. That's for a good start. But, but, but there are people in, in the Why state who are, are in program. this program, when the, yeah. after the statute, they created the the department and they do this sort of thing and whatever else. Um, okay, nine, do the uh, complete the, uh, uh, the collective bargaining collective agreements, bargaining agreements uh, by June 30th because uh, they, they're not essentially all of them except uh, reserve police officers. Uh, I think it, that was the only one that is outstanding, right? 
That's, but that doesn't I have, have to, to do it. I have to finish it, because because the negotiations it. with the water department. I haven't gotten to them yet. Okay, so, well, that's, so that's fixing things up, but I'm just saying that the ones that roll off in nine months now, uh, or ten months, uh, I'm just listing those and say, let's get them done. Yep. Those Again, all these are not months. necessarily goals. These are just things. No, no, I hear you. But, okay. um, so those are going to be all ending the end of the contracts around right. June 30, 2020. Okay. Yeah. And, right. and that's in my list of things to transmit to the board and to the new town administrator. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, good. Okay. Control uh, operating costs. And the last one is control operating costs. Reduce operating costs by examining uh, personnel costs, legal costs, town hall, public safety operations for potential efficiencies and savings. And some of the work that you did with the uh, IT was to, to look for applications that would and you know, one of set a goal of some sort. It might be to the point of identify and implement an application that reduces uh, by eight person hours a week the it tasks in late. the town hall. Right. And, and sometimes those things provide a tremendous focus on we're trying to do this. How can we do it? And, well, that's okay. So that's all of the magnitude. That, that's I, I would say. Thank you, you for should, listening. You should add highway and parks and cemeteries into there. Yeah. It certainly would. Because those are, highway is a big department. Public safety what? and highway. Uh, under control, control operating costs? Yeah. Oh, oh, I, I, I just meant, uh, oh, I, I, yeah. All uh, departments, all well, departments. Well, yeah, it was just examples. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm sorry if it didn't. No, I'm just saying, you know, I just know that highway and parks and cemeteries yeah. probably because they have a lot of heavy equipment. And, and it's also ready. not... I mean, we have to be careful that we don't just look at the town as town hall and its right. employees. It goes beyond that, so a broader view. But I think the idea is great. That's fine. Okay. okay. Thank you for listening. Yep. No, absolutely. Um, so what I'm trying to do is populate a list of candidates and have some discussion along the way. Um, as I look at the um, town goals and objectives for um, 2020. One of the things that I see was left out of this switch, oh, I'm sorry, is in here that it's always a goal and I, I guess because it's to me on the management side more than the leadership and new direction side, um, the town budget that is probably the single most important thing we do all year long, somehow putting that as a goal, <laughs> it's always going to be there and we could never do, we could run the town if we didn't do this. I kind of want to take it off that. It, it, it's not a goal, unless uh, unless there's this thing that says a goal of the town budget is to <laughs> make it uh, well, no took, increase in, in spending or well, something like that. Take but your last to do item. The, your last I item. I absolutely day. agree with you. Yep. And and this to me would be a special effort. It's a special effort. Right? It's it's. I think in fact, frankly, would best be done outside the normal budgeting it process. It should be an ongoing effort, actually. It should be an ongoing effort. effort. <laughs> what you do is you, you, know, you put that Agreed. under budget ongoing. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but I, I agree on that. And uh, the do, 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 do. So one of the ones that I had for um, urgent, urgent meaning you, you just don't have time to play around with it, you're going to have to do it. Um, I noticed, I think, Dick, at one point you had hire a TA 